Officials and experts from Taiwan and Denmark recently held an online forum to discuss ways to carbon neutrality by 2050. Among the participants was the head of Taiwan's Council of Agriculture, Minister Chen Ji-chung. Chen said Taiwan had already made headway into reducing carbon output in the agricultural sector, which now accounts for just 2 percent of Taiwan's emissions. He said Taiwan hoped to learn from the Danish experience to further reduce its carbon output. The Trade Council of Denmark and Taipei, the Livestock Research Institute, and the Circular Taiwan Network held a webinar on Taiwan and Denmark's shared goal of achieving carbon neutrality in the agricultural sector by 2050. Agriculture Minister Chen discussed the steps Taiwan has taken to reduce its carbon footprint. Today, emissions from the agricultural sector account for less than 2 percent of Taiwan's total carbon output. The minister pointed out that oil consumption in fishing vessels had been reduced by 74 percent since 2000. He also said that Taiwan had introduced ideas from the circular economy, such as generating energy from pig manure. Twenty years ago, Taiwan's agricultural sector produced more than 8 million tons of carbon dioxide, which we have since reduced by 3 million tons. The agricultural sector now emits about 5 million tons of CO2. But we still want to work toward our goal of reducing our carbon emissions. First, when it comes to livestock, 2.5 million pigs, which is 50 percent of the pigs in Taiwan, are now part of the biogas capture and use cycle. We hope to bring in all of Taiwan's more than 5 million pigs into it. That's our goal. We hope we can learn from Denmark on this front. Meanwhile, the climate director for Denmark's Agriculture and Food Commission said Denmark monitored the timing and procedures for manure processing very closely. He added that special attention was paid to other factors that contribute carbon emissions, such as temperature control in livestock farms and feeding processes. In Denmark, we have strong cooperatives where we focus on optimization, in the value chain, sustainable intensive production, and food safety and animal welfare. Both Denmark and Taiwan have set a goal of net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Experts say implementing concepts from the circular economy and international cooperation are key to achieving that goal and avert climate crisis. In Denmark, we share the aim to be carbon neutral by 2050 with the intermediate goal to reduce our emissions by 70% in 2030. We believe that agriculture and the food cluster in general holds many of the keys to reducing emissions. But we need to involve the entire value chain. We must work together also internationally. We believe Taiwan and Denmark's livestock industry, by working together, we can lead the change. Taiwan and Denmark can co-commission selected researches and studies like, say, a food study, focusing on what a 2050 net zero lifestyle would mean to the food industry, to the livestock industry, and initiate livestock externalities diagnostic comprehensively. Taiwan and Denmark said they hope to establish a cooperative platform to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. For most of news, Stephanie Yang, Tsen Bohan in Taipei.